Lesson 6-3, Elimination Using Addition and Subtraction. There are more than one uh, ways of doing elimination. Uh, this lesson is just going through one of the ways. So elimination is just another method involving eliminating a variable by combining the individual equations within a system of equations. So we've gone through substitution where you're substituting uh, a value in for a variable to solve for another variable. One way to combine equations with elimination is through addition. So we're going to go through uh, some samples with addition, and then we'll go through some with subtraction. So how do you do elimination using addition? Well, you have to write the system so that the right terms of all the variables are aligned. Step two, add the equation to more than one of the variables. Step three, substitute the variable solve for the other variable, write the solution in a perfect ordered pair. So our first example, we've eliminated the x from the system. Here you can check our x's and our y's, they're all lined up. And you'll notice that our y's have the same number but opposite signs. So that is a clue that we are going to eliminate our y's. So then we just add the place down and we have a plus equals 16. We get x by itself, I divide by 8 on both sides, and I'm left with x equaling 2. Now that we know what x is, I can use one of the two equations, and it doesn't matter which one you choose, you'll still get the same answer. So I'm going to choose the first one, so 3 times 2 plus 5y equals 11. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 5y equals 11. You get 5y by itself, I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. I get 5y equals 5, you get 5, you divide by itself, I divide by 5, and I'm left with y equaling 1. So my answer as an order pair would be 2, 1. Negative x plus 3y equals negative 8, and 2x minus 3y equals negative 8. The one variable that has the same coefficient is the y's, they have opposite signs. So I'm going to eliminate my y's. So I add place down, negative 1 plus 2 is just 1x, equaling negative 8 plus negative 8 is negative 16. So x is equal to negative 16. So I'm going to substitute that in for one of the two equations. I'm going to use the top one again. Uh, put a negative 16 in for x plus 3y equals negative 8. Negative negative 16 is 16 plus 3y equals negative 8. You get 3y by itself. I subtract 16 on both sides. I'm left with 3y equaling a negative 24. You get y by itself. I divide by 3. So now I have y equaling a negative 8. So as an ordered pair, you would have negative 16 and negative 8. Another example here. While well, x's have the same number with opposite signs, so I'm going to be eliminating the x's. That means I add place down for the rest, and I get 10y equaling 50. You get y by itself, I divide by 10 on both sides, and I'm left with y equaling 5. And then I choose a equation. It doesn't matter which one I choose. I'm just going to choose the first one again, 5 times x plus 13 uh, times 5 equaling 20. So I got 5x plus 13 times 5 is 65 equaling 20. Subtract 65 on both sides. And I'm left with 5x equaling a negative uh, 35. Maybe not a negative 35, maybe uh -45 Then I can divide everything by 5 and I'm left with x equaling a negative 9. So as an ordered pair I would have -9 5 Minus 
So here you can see how they came up with their two equations. And then you would use set up the equation to use substitution. So if I were to do the substitution, or not substitution, elimination, I'm going to put this one underneath here. So this is 7x minus 4y equals 13. The x's eliminate each other. 7y minus 4y is 3y. 14 plus 13 is 27. Divide by 3. Y would equal 9. And then I substitute 9 in for x, or 9 in for y. I'm going to choose the one on the left here. So 7x minus 4 times 9 equals 13. So 7x minus 36 equals 13. Add 36. I now have 7x equaling 49. Divide by 7. Our x would equal 7. So as an order pair, we would have 7, 9. So our x is 7, y is 9. Times a number x plus 4 times another number y is 0. So that's one equation. The other one is 4 times a number x minus 7 times another number y is 18. So now if I add straight down, the x's eliminate. I'm left with negative 3y equaling 18. Divide by negative 3, my y would equal negative 6. Find my x, I'm going to choose one of the two variables, I'm going to, or two equations, I'm going to use the top one. So negative 4x plus 4 times negative 6 equaling 0. I have negative 4x minus 24 equaling 0. Get negative 4x by itself. I add 24 to both sides. I get negative 4x equaling 24. And the opposite of multiplying by negative 4 is divide by negative 4. And my x would be negative 6. So the two numbers are negative 6 and negative 6. Negative 2 times another number x plus 5 times another number y is 18. So let's write the system of equations and then we're going to solve it. So 2 times a number 2x minus 6y equals negative 6. The other one is negative 2x plus 5y equals 18. Add straight down and my x's eliminate and I'm left with negative 1y equals 12, divide by negative 1, y would equal negative 12, 12 for x, I'm going to substitute negative 12 in for y, so I take 2 times x minus 6 times negative 12 equal negative 6, so I have 2x plus 72 equals negative 6, uh, subtract 72 on both sides, and I'm left with 2x equaling a negative 78. Divide that by 2, and my x would equal a negative 49. Or not negative 49, a negative 39. Moving on to subtraction. in the, one of the two equations to find the other variable. Now for this one, to, you're going to notice that one of the variables are going to have the same exact uh, coefficient with the same sign. You just need to choose one of them, which is going to multiply everything by a negative 1. So I'm going to choose the top one and multiply by negative 1. So you just give me that, and then I have a negative 3x minus 6y minus 30. Then I can add straight down, and I'm left with 2x equaling a negative 24. So my y's eliminate. Divide by 2, x would equal a negative 12. Then I have to use one of my two original equations to solve for y. I'm going to use the, use the bottom one. So 5x 
So 5 times negative 12 plus 6y equals 6. So 5 times negative 12 is negative 60 plus 6y equals 6. I'm going to add 60 to both sides. I'm left with 6y equaling 66. Divide by 6. And my y would be 11. So my two numbers, negative 11 and y is 11. Or ne x is negative 12 and y is 11. Next, so with sub uh, subtraction, so I need to multiply one of them by negative 1. So I'm just going to multiply the top one by negative 1 and distribute. That gives us 17x minus 13y equaling a negative 57. Add straight down and I get negative 11y equaling a negative 77. Get y by itself, I divide by negative 11, and y would equal 7. Find out my x, pick one of the two equations, I'm going to choose the bottom one, so negative 17x plus 2 times 7 equals negative 20. Now I have negative 17x plus 14 equals a negative 20. Subtract 14 on both sides, and I'm left with negative 17x equals a negative 34. Divide by negative 17, and I'm left with x equaling a positive 2. So my coordinates, or my order pair would be 2, 7. Another one here, I have my y's on the same numbers and same sides, so I'm going to multiply the top one by negative 1, distribute, and I get 2x minus 3y equaling a negative 48. And add straight down, it gives me 9x equaling a negative, uh, 20, negative 27. Just verify that negative 48 plus 21 gives us a negative 27. Divide by 9 on both sides, and x would equal a negative 3. Choose one of the equations. I'm going to choose the top one this time, so negative 2 times negative 3 plus 3y equals 48. So I have 6 plus 3y equals 48. Subtract 6 on both sides. I'm left with 3y equaling 42. Get y by itself. I divide by 3. And y would equal 42 divided by 3, 14. So your ordered pair would be negative 3, 14. Now with the y product, so the y product we just got from here, so we need to subtract the x from both sides. The y product, so the two x is going to go one at a time. So I have x equals a negative three two x plus twenty. How will the x and y product work? So our two equations, one's gonna be dealing with hours and one's gonna be dealing with the number of computers. Being built. So if we're dealing with the hours, 0.8, and I'm going to use m from a plus 1k for tera, equal a total of 17 hours. Or not 17 hours, a total of 15 hours they work. And then for the number of computers they build, you have may plus the ones tera can make, build, that's a total of 17 computers in one week. We need to find out how many hours did each of those uh, work? So to do this, I would multiply, I'm going to multiply the top one by negative 1, and then distribute. So I would have a negative 0.8m minus 1k equaling a negative 15. Do the subtraction, so 1 minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.2m equaling 2. Divide by 0.2. And 2 divided by 0.2 gives us 10. So May would be 10 hours. And if May is 10 hours, or 10, uh, actually would be dealing with our computers. So how many computers? May would have 10 computers. And Kara would have uh, 7 computers.
So a better uh, question for me, how many computers did each girl have work? Next question. What percent of the population sleeps more than the recommended number of hours and what percentage of the sleep is less? So we're going to use M and L. M for more and L for less. So our two equations, we're going to have more minus the less. So it says the percent who slept more than the recommended amount of difference. So a difference means subtraction. That was a difference of 3%. And then in total, these groups make up 25%. So M plus L have to equal 25. Now, since I already have opposite signs for L, I can just eliminate the L and I get 2M equaling 28. Divide that by 2, and I would have M, those at more would be 14. So that would be 14% of the population sleep more than what they, more than the recommended amount. The last would be I put 14 in for M, I put 14 here, or I can put 14 down here, and 14 plus what gives us 25, that would be 11. So 11% 11 sleep less. And our last question, how many years did the population of the people who slept more than the recommended number of hours and what percentage of the population that slept more than the recommended number? This one actually is not, uh, this one just gives us the answer to one of the other questions, question number 54. So that is our lesson on elimination using addition and subtraction.